Hey guys, I'm sure that many of you have already heard, but recently some very exciting FNAF news has come out straight from Scott Cawthon himself. Today I wanted to talk about what exactly that news is and what it'll mean for the future of the franchise. Before we get into that though, I'd like to just quickly remind you all that if you enjoy my videos, subscribing and leaving a like are easy and free ways to help support the channel. I'm planning on doing more FNAF related videos in the near future, so make sure you ring the notification bell to find out as soon as those get uploaded. So ever since the very beginning of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, there's been a huge culture around fan-made spin-off games. You may be familiar with titles such as Five Nights at Candy's, The Joy of Creation, or Pop goes. Fan games like this can fall into a strange, legally gray area. They aren't exactly one-to-one -one ripoffs because they change the characters and often the mechanics to an extent. But the similarities are so prevalent that there could reasonably be grounds for a lawsuit. For example, because these games are often so similar, they can be seen as a free alternative, thus taking away money that Scott could have made on the official games. This is why large corporations like Nintendo often go after and shut down fan projects like fan-made Pokemon games. Scott, however, has never done this for games that offer an experience unique from the official FNAF experience. He has always been okay with fan games that have original characters, lore, assets, etc. So what's the big news? Scott Cawthon recently announced in a Reddit post what he's calling the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. In his own words, it is a giant collaboration involving several fan game creators who have made some of the most popular fan games over the years here in the community. He will be investing his own money to get these fan series new installments, ported to console and mobile, and official toys and merchandise. He's also going to be staying out of the development process to let the creatives behind the games do what they want, and all of the games will be released for free. Scott has said that he wants to expand this project in the future, but here's what we can expect as a first wave. Five Nights at Candy's 4 by Emil Mako, The Joy of Creation Ignited Collection by Nixon, Pop Goes Evergreen by Kane Carter, One Night at Flumpty's 3 by Jonochrome, and a remake slash reimagining of FNAF 1 by Fizznob. I'll have the Game Jolt links to all of these projects in the description if you want to follow development. I'm super excited to see what these creators are able to do with the extra resources at their disposal. I think these projects are going to turn out really great. Leave a like if you're excited to check out these games, and comment down below which one you're most hyped for. So full disclosure, I haven't actually played many FNAF fan games myself, or watched many playthroughs. So in the coming weeks, I'll be playing through some of the fan games that are already out, live on Twitch. If you want to watch the stream, make sure you follow me at twitch.tv slash soupsu. I'll have that linked in the description as well. And since my schedule with school and work isn't super consistent at the moment, I can't really say when these streams will be happening, but I'll post on Twitter once I get that figured out, so make sure you follow me there, twitter.com slash soupsu with an underscore. I'll also upload some of those playthroughs here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. We also have a Discord server if you're interested in joining, I'll have an invite link to that in the description. And uh, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.